Hello and welcome back to another episode of Physics Partner. Today we are diving into a thrilling topic. How can time travel really be possible according to Einstein's physics? Buckle up because this journey is going to be full of twists and turns. First off, let's talk about Albert Einstein, the genius whose theories reshaped how we understand the universe. His theory of relativity tells us that time is not a constant. It can actually stretch and warp under certain conditions. Think of time like a rubber band. When you pull on it, it stretches. Similarly, time moves differently depending on how fast you are going or how close you are to a massive object like a planet or a black hole. Here is an example. Have you ever heard of time dilation? Imagine two identical clocks. One stays on earth and while other zooms around in a super fast airplane. When the flying clock returns, it shows less time has passed than one on earth. This isn't magic, it's physics at work. So if we could travel fast enough as in close to the speed of light, time would slow down for us compared to those on earth. This means you could potentially jump into the future. Now let's explore a more mind-bending concept wormholes. These are theoretical shortcuts through space and time. Imagine you fold a piece of paper in half and poke a hole through it. You have created a direct line between two points. If scientists can find or create actual wormholes, they could allow for time travel between different times or even different universes. Why does this matter? Well, this idea sparked our imagination in movies like Back to the Future. While we may not be building time machines just yet, understanding these concepts can help scientists in fields like astrophysics and quantum mechanics. Who knows what breakthroughs the future holds. So the next time you look at a clock, remember, time is not just a ticking number, it's a dynamic, exciting aspect of our universe. Who knows? One day, you might just travel back in time. So I think it's enough for today. So thank you very much for listening and watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope this video is useful for you. So take care of yourself and don't hesitate to write an email if you have any question, query, suggestion, and even classes are required. Take care of yourself. Meanwhile, see you in the next video. Goodbye.